guys, welcome back to DAT. In today's video, we are going to be looking at this Tyrannus QX7 and we're going to be looking at how you set up switches so you can fly your quad. So sit there, let's do this. So like I said guys, this is going to be about setting up switches on your Tyrannus and I think this is a very useful little thing to know because Basically, if you know it on this, you can it'll more or less uh, go across to other controllers as well, and you should be able to pretty much set up switches on anything. So without further ado, let's get this going. I'm gonna zoom in, try and get a nice position on here for you. Okay, so here we are. First things first, guys, obviously turn on your controller. Welcome to OpenTX. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna create a brand new model. So we're gonna select the three bars scroll down to an empty zone, press the button, create a new model, it's loading, select multi, this needs to actually assign for your, for your sticks, so they're all standard, and you just page, 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 long press to confirm, uh, exit that because I pressed a bit too long, but that's it, that's your model set up there, your empty model ready to go. Now we need to press page again until we get to inputs. Here we are in inputs. These are your throttle, your pitch and your and your roll. That's what we've just set up there. So you scroll down to an empty input, select five. We're gonna scroll down to the source, select the source. And I want this switch. So all I'm gonna do is actually flick it and it changes to SC. So press that. We're going to call this arm. Press exit to confirm it. Exit, exit. And we've got the SC switch and its arm. Now we're going to move to six. And we're going to repeat, we're going to select the source. We're going to use this little switch here. And on this switch, I'm going to basically use angle and horizon. So let's change the SD, confirm that. Change the name. I'm going to call it ang. So it's three switches. <coughs> Switch seven. Uh, what else do we need? We need a turtle mode. I like turtle mode, so select your source again. And that is turtle mode. Confirm that. Add a name. Turt, exit and exit. So we've got arm angle and turt. One last one. Select the source. This is going to be for my buzzer, and I'm going to put it on this switch here. So that's the buzzer. Confirm that. So there are all the switches that I actually need, arm, angle mode and horizon, that's my turtle and that's my buzzer. Now one more thing, we have to page over another time and we have to actually put it into a mixer as well. So select your mixer, channel 5, we've just done channel 5. So I'm going to just call these the numbers. If I can find them, I'm going to call that one. Source, select the source. This was my angle. This is my arm even, sorry, because this is my arm. Confirm that. And exit. 
If you've forgotten what you've set up, long press page and it'll take you back. So we've got arm and angle. Angle was on this switch here. So page over, back over to six. I'm going to call this two. Scroll down to the source, select the source. And this was the switch for angle. Confirm that. Exit, exit. So now you've got for some reason it hasn't kept my name. For some reason that hasn't. There it has. Oh, sorry. It disappears for some reason if you're on it. Who knew that? So, channel, well, let's go back one. So we've got turtle mode now. And turtle mode is on the big stick here. So, page back. I'm going to call this free. Source SB. So total mode is on SB. Confirm that. Total mode is on SB. Page over again. SB. Long press page to go back. We've got one more, I believe, which is our buzzer, which was on here. So page over. Select channel eight. This is going to be number four. Select the source, flip the switch again, and it comes into there. Press exit to confirm, exit again, exit, and there we have channel eight is the buzzer that we just selected, and it's called number four. So one, two, three, four. S, C, C, D, B, and H is what we want. So there, perfectly set up. C, D, B, and H, those are the switches, arm, angle, and turtle. And that is it, guys. That's all we have to do in there. Once that's all done, guys, like it is there, what we now have to do is get your quad, plug it into beta flight, turn the power on, turn the transmitter on, and actually set it up in there, which I'll do right now and show you how to do that. So stay there. So I must point out guys, this is my sort of just my quad that I mess around with and I do these videos with. This is already bound to this controller. So I'm presuming that you know how to bind your actual controller up because it does need to be bound to work. So get your bound quad, plug it into beta flight. And this will power the receiver as well. So we can actually see what's going on. Remember to take your props off because it can be dangerous if you need to plug a battery in to get your receiver showing on beta flight. So your quad's plugged in. Turn our controller on. Welcome to Orton TX. Switch warning. Ignore the switch warnings for now. Model 8, that's the one that we just set up. There you can see our switches are down there. So exit that. Model 8, that's the one that we just did. Quad's plugged in. And here's beta flight. So connect up to beta flight. Straight over to the receiver tab. As you see, this is connected up and all the sticks move. We're good to go. So those are the initial ones that we put in, but we need to get our switches working. So we need to go to modes. And this is where we need to add ranges. So I'm going to try and show you this. So this is what we made for our arm switch. On beta flight, we need to add a range. And at the moment it says auto. And all we need to do is flick this switch. There you'll see that that orange little bar is moving and it's selected aux one, which is absolutely perfect. And I want that to be my on position. So I need this bar to be over that little orange indicator just there. So that is now armed. Now angle mode, we set up and we set up this switch for angle mode. So again, add range and then flick the switch that we selected and you'll see it moving again. So that moves. 
move this orange bar so for me that position because it's a free position switch that will be angle mode horizon i'm going to add a range again and i'm going to flick the same switch and as you'll see it'll move both of them it'll move angle and horizon now but that middle position i'm going to use for horizon i just like to shorten these little orange bars just to make it a little bit neater so that position there right there is horizon and this position over here is angle so that's angle that's horizon and when it's off that's acro so full acro so next one we did a buzzer they call it beeper here so add range again and then we did it to this switch on the back here flip the switch And what I want is I want that position over there to be my buzzer. Because it's a sprung switch, when I let go, it's off, put it on, it's on. So any beeps when I actually flick it on. So one last one, we did a turtle mode, which is flip over after crash, add range, I believe it was this one here. So we'll have that range there as flip over after crash. Slide it over. So when these little markers are in the orange, that means it's on. So flip over crash is now on, it's now off. Remember to hit the save button. That'll save all the switches you've just put in. Scroll to the top. Hide unwanted modes, and there are the switches that we've just put in. So arm is now indicating it's on. Let's turn that off. So arm switch is off. Let's move this quad out of the way. <coughs> so arm is off. On, off. Perfect. Angle mode we have on this switch here. And that is acro. That is horizon. That is angle. So I'll have it in acro. Beeper, beeper's there, that's doing good. Flip over after crash. There you go, all your switches are done. And that is it, that should get you up and going. So that's how you make switches guys, it's pretty simple. Once you get that part done, you should be able to actually arm your quad. You'll need a battery for it, so if you go over to motors, I have a battery here, and I'm really hoping this works, that's going to look quite silly. I'm going to plug a battery in. Put it there. I'm going to sign my life away. And then I'm going to arm it. And there you go. There's the arm. And you'll see what's happening in the receiver tab. That's the receive, oh sorry, back to the modes. So it's off because the little indicator isn't in the arm. Put it into the arm. Oh, I'm pointing for some reason. And it arms. That simple guy, guys, it's that easy. So hopefully that's straightforward. Hopefully you can follow that. Hopefully that'll get you to be able to set up switches and get you up in the air. Hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up guys, I've got loads more coming. This is going to be a great year for FPV. So thanks a lot guys, cheers, goodbye. <laughs>